Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to perform year-over-year -year analysis with pivot table. Now, let's turn this into a pivot table. This is data. Let's pretend that this is data. Maybe a car dealership, selling different makes, colors, and they want to do a year-over-year -year analysis. This is like two, 2017 to 2018. Turn this into pivot table. Go to insert, uh, pivot table, and the Excel smart enough to recognize the range of all this data. There's about a, hundred, a thousand rows of data here. I'm going to put it into the existing worksheet here in cell G1. Click OK. And now we have our information. So we'll put a date and we'll put the count of the make, right, the changes. Now, what you also notice is that when we did put the date in there, Excel added quarters and dates and years. And what Excel did was it grouped it. And in my configuration of Excel, it did it automatically. Uh, you may have to set on and off. If you didn't have it set, you can actually just do it. Let's pretend that we didn't have it set uh, to group. A right click, uh, ungroup, and we have our date there. This is what you usually see, right? So if this happened to you, what you can do is group it so you can get your, your years and your months. So I would right click, go to group, and let's do years, let's do month, quarters, and years. So select my control key, select quarters, click select years. Now it's going to have those groupings. Let's just have the months. I'll take off the quarters. We have our months. Move the years over here because I want to do a comparison of year to year. Get rid of my grand total. Select that right click and remove grand total. Right click, select that right click, remove grand total. So I have my years here. So now I have now I have my comparison. So if you weren't familiar with doing year over year comparisons and pivot tables, you might think, oh I have my pivot table here. Let's add an extra column here. Insert. And let's let's add another column. I'm gonna add two columns here. Let's say we do two calculations, right? I want to see my difference. That minus that, right? That gives us a date. We don't want the date because it's formatted that. We just want general. So it gives me my number here. We can see there's a difference of nine. If I drag the fill handle down here, I see I have my values here. If we want to look at percentage differences, I'll do that divided by 2018 value divided by 2017 value minus one. That gives me my percentage. It turned it into a date again. Let's change that to general. Drag the fill handle down there, turn it into percentage give it some a decimal point and we have it there but when we do it outside the pivot table so if I don't want to do the make here I don't, I don't want to compare the uh, months and let's say I just wanted to compare my makes every year you can see what's happened right the pivot table has dramatically increased and I don't have these values going down for my others. And that's what makes it a little bit challenging because I have my calculations here outside of pivot table. We can do that within the pivot table. Let's see how we can do it. All we need to do, I'm gonna make this, and this go simple. We'll go back to the years, the months, and we'll change it later on. So all I need to do is bring in make again. Let's make this go over here. Click on here, go to value field settings, and this one we're going to show the values as a difference, right? So the first one we want to show the values of the difference. Difference from, and my base, it's going to be the difference from the base here is 2017. So we're going to select years as our base field, and the previous item is going to be 2017 because we only have two, 2017 and 2018. So we clicked on 2018, click OK, and now we have our value there. So these changed because they're referencing the wrong cell. Let's see if I move it down here and I'll do this. Let's see K3, which is that value minus this value. That should give me right, my right calculation. So you can see here, like when we make changes to our pivot table, the formulas get all messed up because they're referencing different cells. So that would, I have to change that. And let's move this one over here. J3 becomes J4. Press enter. Double click the fill handle to bring it down. You can see that 
my calculations are there. Let's do the percentage one. We'll bring in percentage, bring another one of this down, and we'll turn that into percentage by, by a few settings, show values as. Let's make this a percentage difference from. And we'll do that years again, and this will be previous. Click OK, and now we have it uh, difference. So this is, I should have changed this later. This moves over here because I added that extra count, that extra count field here. Double click the fill handle, bring it down. You can see my percentages change there, right? And you can see this is probably not ideal. You have all 217 here. We want to save 217, 218. Just bring the years down here, right? And so we have our counts there. And see, and everything gets messed up when you change things up here, but it all stays calculated here when you do it within the pivot table. Now, as I mentioned before, if we didn't want to do date, we want to move date out and put make in. My calculations here get all messed up, but I have my calculations here. We can just hide these 217 because we're not comparing 217 to 217. We're comparing 218, 2018 to 2018. Press the control key to select discontiguous cells, right click, hide. And now we have our values. This is the difference from 2018 to 2017, and this is the percentage change. Now we have these null errors, right? Because some of them don't have values. What we can do is we can ask Excel, right click under the pivot table fields to ignore those errors. So we have our format for error values. Let's just show blank. Click OK, and now we have our blank. So you can do all the changes you want. If I didn't like make, let's remove make from here, and let's do color. And we have color and all those changes occur there. And you can see if we did our calculations outside of the pivot table, it just messes everything up. But now we have our values here. If I didn't want to do, uh, if I wanted to do quarters, I can add quarters in there, right? And remove color. And each quarter, we can see our differences here. Again, everything gets messed up here, but within the pivot table, we do, we have our year to year comparisons and it nicely tells us the difference and the percentage differences. So that's the way we can perform some analysis, year-over-year -year analysis, in a pivot table. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.